of NCTV 17's Natalie Vitali here at the 95.9 The River, Class of 2014 River Prom. Tonight's theme is Feels Like the First Time and we're here capturing all the fabulous prom moments from the marching band to the prom king and queen. Long time ago that my prom sucked seven years ago and it would mean something to me to go with him because he's the love of my life and so he found tickets and we're here. Underage drinking and necking. It is what everybody else is talking about it, and I hope he takes me to a hotel tonight. And I love this man, we're awesome. <laughs> Whether it was reliving good times or wanting to make new memories, guests of the River Prom stepped into the past. Every song we play, I think, takes you to a place in your childhood because we're classic hits. So I think also everybody wants to go back to that time at some point because it was the age of innocence. We didn't know. So I figured, now that we're adults, we can do the prom the way we really wanted to. This is a great way to relive that memory or to experience your first prom in a fun environment. And you're an adult, so you can do it the right way this time. Fans flock to relive the memory of the big dance. But there was one guest given treatment fit for a prom queen. Hi, the river. Good morning. Good morning. Who's this? My name is Chris. Chris, have I talked to you before? I know you have. I know I have, too. Chris, yes. you're going to River Prom. You are kidding. Yay. You just won our tickets. Congratulations, Chris. I'm so excited. I'm so glad you won because I know you're a regular McCainiac and River listener, so this is good news. I'm just so excited, very excited. And then I got a call on Friday, on Good Friday, saying that I was picked for the hotel room. So I was a double winner. The event was a throwback to traditional proms in many ways. From the Plainfield East Marching Band, to the live music from the Empty Pockets. And the anticipated announcement of Prom King and Queen, as well as a few oh, well. fun awards. But the committee has spoken, and it was Tom Franklin because of the Velvet Shirt. This is probably mid-70s, early 80s. Uh, a costume uh, designer in Massachusetts has put our stuff on eBay, and I just grabbed it up on eBay. <laughs> she actually wore this when our first child was born. 20 years ago. Whether it was the first time or just felt like the first time, there was something all prom goers had in common. We want to be known as that station that is always involved with the listeners. And you know, we want to keep the listeners we have while getting the new listeners as well. And this is the way to do it. I know I can't help myself. You're